my lovelies how you all doing i hope you're keeping well and staying crafty i'm coming on today to show you the last of the uh postcards that i've done for the hashtag july postcard play that was hosted back in july <laughs> um by kerry griffith so i'll leave the link in the description box so we've got 11 cards to show you some of them i've used images that i've generated uh, um, ai generated some of the images are from collage soup images and some are from the ones that lovely trudy sent me so this is a trudy one this is number 21 and the July bit was to do with using jelly prints doesn't matter it doesn't have to be all the background it can be just you know any element of a piece of jelly print so this was the background and then I've used other scraps that I've got, got great big oh, I've got hordes and hordes of scraps <laughs> yeah, this was a piece of painted ribbon that I did ages ago or a few years ago just cotton and then sprayed some inks on and then went over showed you this in a previous video uh, went over with some stickles and that cut the lovely little image out some gems in the middle with some uh, not stickles but pearl effect drops and that was that one went round the edge with what does that look like these have been done a few days uh i don't know purple paint we'll say purple purple paint <laughs> so that's number 21 and one of the well, rules if you like that kerry wanted us to do was put the the number corresponding the day of july <laughs> well this i did this this one in august that was done some are August and some are September. So number 22, again, jelly prints in the background and scraps on the top. Um, the gold is like that because I'd, well, it had started dripping. So I thought, oh, well, it looks like little sperms <laughs> running uphill. <laughs> Pretend I didn't say that, <laughs> but it does. <laughs> After I'd done it, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> anyway, that's what it is. <laughs> and this image was from Trudy. But I love this gold, it's so I need to get another one of these pens. Let's have a look. Oh, I can't feel what it's called. Is that what it is? No, that's this isn't it, but it's a bigger one of these. It's a, a Pentel paint marker pen oh, i love that i love that gold because some golds are not so nice are they <laughs> oh and then in the centers of these i'd use some oh i'm not prepared am i as per i'll just get one out it won't be the same color i picked these up i think last year i think from the range and i think they were 99 pence or just over a pound and it's all sorts of like goodness, glitters and little hearts things. And then this one is like a strandy thing. Well, it's two strandy things. And that was probably from a different, we've got different coloured packs of these. That was from a gold pack looking at that. And I just put a little bit of, oh, I don't know whether it was that. Yeah, a bit of the Nouveau Gloss on and then just sprinkled it on because i thought they looked a bit plain so that's that one uh, what else? oh this one now this one i've used a prompt do you remember i asked for some prompts when i'd done the uh index card challenged i said oh I might, I might go on to do probably a hundred index cards well i've used it and i asked you lovely ladies uh, for some prompts and this is a prompt from Lena Kay and she said double trouble I've also got another idea for this one but 
That'll probably come another day. So these images were from, they're a bit creepy images, but I love them. From the collar one of the collage soup books, e-books. I can't remember whether it was a freebie book or whether it was one that I bought. But I just love them. Again, this gloss on the eyes. I love this stuff. And one of us is right. The other one is you. <laughs> Your jelly print in the background. This is a bit of scrap. Number 23 and some cotton crochet trim. So that's that one just went round the edge with black paint on that. So thank you, Lenneke, for that. Don't know whether I say your name right, Lenneke. Lenneke. Uh, um, but thank you for the prompt. Right, number 24. We've got another prompt was cats, which Julie from Green Macaroni and Anne Lane said. And this is a cat. This image is from one of the ones that Trudy sent me. Thank you, Trudy jelly print in the background and I've used some of this stuff as well on the flower there and the mast appeared got that from one of the large print books number 24 love it glossy eyes again black paint round the edge <laughs> Right, number, no, 20, yeah, 24. Did I say 25? 24. This one's 25. Nothing changes. I still don't know what I'm talking about off the time. This is 25, so oh, I think this piece in the background there is gel the jelly print, and this was just some, I don't know what paints I'd used. I think I just was playing with paints and then I'd, yeah I'd cut some out to to make AT, ATC coins with another image that Trudy sent me thank you Trudy went round the edge with red I think that was one of these got near a nearly empty one of these <clears throat> so I used that round the edge number 25 out of the book Samuel would save an odd crust haven't got the book in here that I use use those words from but anywhere we go I'll say to Mr Doodle can you have a look because because I can't see very well I can't see on the spine of the book whether it says large print or not so he's really good at spotting them and you know I'll, I'll pick them up as and when I can but they're ideal for this sort of thing. So that's that one. Number 26. This is this one is a prompt from Lynn from Content Crafts. And Lynn's prompt was square or squares. So we've got this. This is both jelly prints. And I just punched them out, stuck them down. And then they've just left it on the desk, didn't know what to do with them. And then I looked at the prompts and I'm like, oh yes, square. <laughs> so the card came first and the prompt came afterwards. <laughs> so thank you, Lynn. And then I didn't know what else to do. I didn't want, I couldn't find an image that I sort of was happy with, which is sounds stupid because I've got so many images. So I was rummaging through the drawers. I'm like, I don't know where on earth this pom-pom trims come from. Thinks, mm, I don't know. I don't know whether it's got it from a car boots. If somebody sent me it, I usually have them in separate drawers with names on and it's not in one of those. So I think I must have picked it up from a car boot or something or somewhere. I don't know or Probably my sister-in-law gave me. She often gives me bits and bobs. I don't know. And I just thought of the song, It's Hip to Be Square. <laughs> Should have put some little musical notes on, but I didn't. So that's that one. Number 26. Number 27. Have we a prompt for this one? No. Oh, this one's sort of... <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> 
Uh, so the back oh, I don't even know whether there is any jelly print on this, but we'll pretend there is. Oh, the background is. Yeah, this in the background was jelly print, just plainish jelly print. And then this piece was the. Um, can you see where we was all went through a phase of doing? I can't remember who the first person I was saw do it. I think it was Know It. Know It Art, is it? I think it was Know It. Uh, where you use, oh dear, stick down all sorts of bits and bobs on napkin and then put plain napkin on the top, glue it all down. It's like faux handmade paper, I think that's what we were calling it. So that was that and then I'd use some to cut out shapes and different things. These were just off, it's a bit of stray glitter there off the edge of a spiral binder thingy and then I just put a maze in there cut out some little circles that's that one number 20 whatever it was 27 number 28 let's have a look no these these last few were, yeah that was September this next one September no prompt for this one. Number 28. Another creepy girl from Collage Soup. And I just put some dots and trim on her little dress. Give her some creepy glossy eyes. <laughs> I do not fear the darkness. So it's jelly print in the background. And this piece was this piece was on a card, I think. And I'd used it for other bits and bobs. It was in my scrap box. Number 28. Round the edge with black. That's that one. Number 29. Hmm. Not ever so fussed about this one. Mr. Doodle thinks this one's lovely. He says, why don't you like it? I says, well, it's not. I don't like it. It's just not my favourite one. <laughs> uh yeah jelly print and jelly print in the background this little girl this was one of the ones that i did i showed you them a few weeks ago printed out <coughs> excuse me just went round the flowers with an alcohol marker that trudy sent me thank you trudy i use those an awful lot some trim that I'd got from, blah, 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 I don't know, the range or somewhere. And then some little, wanted something for the middles. And I'd only got silver, like, sparkly things. So I thought, oh, well, we've got alcohol markers. We can make them any colour we want. So that's what I did. And then just dream and achieve, number 29. Round the edge with some glittery one of those. And that's that one. Number 30. Yes, this one. Jelly print in the background. And this was this jelly print. Crikey, I did this years ago. And I've cut them out and made ATC coins with those. And that's just a piece of scrap that was left. This is one of the images. Yes, it is supposed to be like that. <laughs> um i did a while ago i've showed you those before and then some of the this and this again it in the purple and yeah, it was purples purples and blues i think it was it was very pretty and then i did, decided to use some punchinella i wasn't sure whether my <coughs> excuse me circle punch would punch out the punchinella but it did ever so easily so I used some of that there, dignified, number 30, some of that trim across there again and round the edge with some purple metallic paint. Number 31, the end. <laughs> and again, jelly print in the background and here. And this is some tape. I've just got a couple of little bits left now, Trudy. What Trudy put on the outside of the package of her parcel she sent recently. And I like using it all up because it costs money and you can't just throw it away, can you? So, oh, and then this was a piece of, let me see. Have I got any left? Yes, I have. 
oh, a few years ago I made a load of, <clears throat> at least a couple of years, snippet roll with fabric. And that's a piece of that that was left. Um, yes, and then another little girl, that lady that I'd generated from Canva and Bing. A Canva, I think these were, not Bing. Round the edge with blue metallic paint and then these little blingy square thingies. I don't know where I got those from, but I've got them in blues and in purpley pinks as well. And then that word is on a sheet of words that I've had for several years, probably five or six years. And that's that one. So that is the last of those. So I can tick that one off now. <laughs> and then I think I'm going to continue to do some uh, more ATCs. Not ATCs, well, yeah, ATCs, but... Oh, index cards. Although my index cards are the same size as postcards, I'm actually keeping them separate because I write, you know, the prompts and that on the back, not the prompts, the name on the back. So that's that. And another couple of little things, a couple of ATCs with this tape that Trudy sent me. I don't think I've shown you this one. Uh, this was on the, the front of the package. I love you more than trash. <laughs> so I stuck the duct tape down and used my bone folder thingy to sort of get, because it was quite creased, get some of the creases out, but I'm not really bothered. Then a, another piece of that trim. And then some little gems and some of that stuck the gems in there, around the edge with gold paint. And then the same sort of idea. This was another sticker and he just looks like a Sid and he was hangry. He'd not eaten for 10 minutes. He was so hangry. <laughs> uh, this trim was from the works. I don't think I've used this before, but it's very pretty. It's like a tinsely type thing. And then I just went round the edge with, <coughs> excuse me, sort of a turquoise metallic paint, but... It's got lost in there, so you can't see that. But that is that. So that's all I've got to show you lovely people today. As I say, I hope you're all doing well and staying crafty. <coughs> I thought I'd better come and show my face. It's, I don't think I've been on for over a month. Not for any other reason other than I wanted to get these cards finished and so I could show you them uh, all at once. So thank you very much for watching. Take care. I'm wrapped up like it's the middle of winter today. It's rather cold. <laughs> um, but yeah. So I'll speak to you all soon. Take care. Love you loads. Thanks for watching. Bye.